channel Nancy Mahunta. Today I am going to tell you a bedtime story. This story is The Twelve Dancing Princesses. Once upon a time there lived a king who had twelve daughters. Each morning they would buy new shoes because their old shoes were there. The king wanted to know the mystery. He said, Ah, why do my daughters shoot tear like they go to work in fields? I should know the mystery, he thought. And one day he announced in his kingdom that anyone who can solve this mystery will be awarded as the king of this kingdom. And then many kings and many detectives came, but none could not find their mystery. And one day there was an old soldier who wanted to solve the mystery. He went and in the root he found an old lady's apples fallen on the ground. None were helping her. All were busy at their works. The kind soldier went to the lady and kept the old apples in the basket and gave her. She said, thank you son. Where are you going? He answered, I am going to the kingdom and I wanted to solve the mystery and become a king. And she said, Oh, but you must be aware of. Take this cloak. It is an invisible cloak. As you wear it, you will not be visible to anyone. And make sure that you don't drink the wine that the princesses will give you that night. The Soldier thanked the lady and went away to the castle. And when he entered the castle and he saw the king, the king said, Why have you came here, O young man? He said. And the soldier answered, I want to solve the mystery of the princesses. He said. And the king thought for a few seconds and answered, if you don't find the mystery, I will chop your head off. And he agreed. He was given four days a time and a small room near the princess's bedroom. And he went. And the youngest princess came here and said, Here, take this wine. You will enjoy it. Then the soldier cleverly pretended to drink it. But after the princesses go, he just, he just did not drink, he just pretended. And then he pretended to sleep and all the princesses took out their and he splitted out the wine. And then all the princesses saw that he was asleep and chose their prettiest dresses and bare shoes and went. The eldest sister twice under her bread. There was a secret steps cage and they all followed one by one according to their ages. The soldier quickly wake up and put the cloak and he followed them. And by mistakenly he stabbed the English princess dress. Sisters, there is something wrong. There is someone behind me who is stopping my gown. She said, Oh the, oh, the little one, you just don't be scared. Nothing is happening today. Come, fast, she said. And they all went near a beautiful garden with golden leaves to the tree. He put one for the proof. And then a sound, loud sound came. Tung, the English is the English sister was scared. Sisters, I told you, hear that large noise. Oh, it is not anything, sister. It is because we came. The garden is happy. And she told. They continued their way to a river where all the trees were covered with silver trees. And he plucked one. Then, two handsome princesses along with their boats came to the royal bank and each one the princesses climbed each prince one boat and they went as they were going the soldier quickly climbed 
and donned the eldest sister's boot. The princess said, The prince said, Princess, today your boat is very heavy. And the princess replied, Yes, there is strange things happening, but my sisters are not caring about them. And as they reached the earth river bank, they saw the soldiers saw beautiful trees covered with diamond leaves and he plucked another one. And as they reached it, there was a great feast and the prince and the princesses danced each other the whole night. And they were dancing as they were no tomorrow. And as it was morning, the, they went to the river bank again came back to the bedroom and they swept. And the soldiers think, oh, this is what happening. I'll go to the king tomorrow. And he slept and the soldier was called by king. Do you form anything about the mystery? He asked. And the soldier said, the princesses are going and he continued the whole story. And the King called his princesses and said, Is it true, my princesses? Does the soldier is selling 